When I was re-diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, my oncologist ordered a number of tests, some of which I understood and some of which I didn't. And one of the tests that he ordered was a biomarker test. Can you tell me exactly what that means? So biomarkers are done primarily to assess what sorts of treatments we can give. But with some of the changes in the technology that we've had over the last decade or so, the speed with which the changes have happened has advanced rapidly. So mm -hmm. biomarkers, the first biomarker in cancer actually was in breast cancer. And mm -hmm. that was almost 50 to 60 years ago when we discovered the estrogen receptor. Mm -hmm. So prior to that, women were actually getting their ovaries removed as a breast cancer treatment. We didn't know why it worked until we figured out that there's this estrogen receptor which is involved in, in the growth of certain types of breast cancers. Now that was probably the mid-1970s. So it took some time as the technology advanced and about 25 years later, another biomarker was discovered and that was the HER2 receptor. And then flash forward another 25 years and it's where we are today, which is a whole landscape of different types of biomarkers and and even the next few years, the changes we're gonna see and why we use these biomarkers mm -hmm. is really exciting for all of us. So biomarkers, there, there is a lot of confusion around biomarkers and there are lots of different types of biomarkers. So living organisms, human beings, we all have cells. Cells make up all our entire body, hair cells, liver cells, breast cells. And all those cells are always dividing mm -hmm. all the time. And when cells divide, they have a really tough job of replicating all that DNA. Mm. DNA is like the, the way I often tell patients is DNA is like the master recipe book. The RNA, which is the next step, is like the chef looking at that book mm. and picking out which recipe and putting it on their little iPad. And then when the chef actually makes the entree, that's the protein. So that's the central kind of how, how life works, DNA, RNA, protein. So when we think about biomarkers, mm. we're measuring either DNA or we're measuring the protein. And the initial biomarkers in breast cancer are the ones that most patients and, and oncologists know about, which is the estrogen receptor, mm -hmm. the progesterone receptor. So those two are the hormone receptors, ER and PR. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is called the HER2 or HER2 receptor. And so those three are tested every time there's a, a, a biopsy on a breast cancer patient. They should be tested every time there's a biopsy on a metastatic breast cancer patient too. So whether it's the breast or other parts of the body, we always test those. But then there's additional biomarkers, which are the ones that we really started to develop over the last decade mm -hmm. or so, particularly I'll say the last five years or so. And those markers are looking at the DNA. So that's going even deeper inside the cancer cell mm -hmm. where we're looking at these different genes, these recipes, and trying to understand why the entree doesn't taste as good as it's supposed to, because there's something wrong in that recipe. There's some ingredient that's off. So some piece of that DNA, some gene is off and it makes that protein do the wrong thing, which then makes the cell do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm.